So here's how you turn up your fuel on your 7.3 IDI. You gotta take the little triangle cover off on the side of the injector pump. Hopefully the camera picks it up, but it's right here. Now, the way I've seen people do it is pull that off and uh, keep turning the motor over until you see the tiny Allen screw inside so you, that you turn to turn the fuel up. Now I found it much easier to just uh, pull off this cover. It goes right there and you align this dowel pin right here to the 12 o'clock position. And that's how it exposes exposes the Allen key inside to turn. You just make sure you put in neutral and just jump this from this pin to this one and that cranks the motor over without starting it. It's gonna make sure it's neutral. Let's see you get it lined up. Now before you turn your fuel off you wanna make sure you have a pyrometer because the more fuel you give it the hotter it's gonna burn and you give it too much or run it too hard up a hill you're gonna melt your valves and your pistons and destroy your motor so this one's in Celsius so it goes up to 1200 degrees so about 600 is my safe limit or that's about 11 or 1200 degrees Fahrenheit so and mind you this is non-turbo so I'm only gonna turn it up about two to three flats I'm not quite sure yet but three flats will probably go because my old injector pump was turned up three flats and I had no problems with it then it didn't smoke too bad and I still got 16-17 miles a gallon so so yeah, but there's no need to turn it off like seven flats or max it out, especially if you don't have a turbo, it just wastes fuel and just blows excessive obnoxious smoke. And also one more thing I forgot to add. Uh, when you're, you're gonna turn your fuel up, make sure you start your truck up and make sure it runs properly before turn, messing with the fuel screw in it, because if it doesn't start after doing this, or, or anything about that, or doesn't run right, then they'll be confused that you will be thinking you messed up your injector pump, but it could be just another problem. So make sure it runs properly before doing this, and uh, it will be hard to start after turning it up because for the very first time, because lots of fuel comes out of the pump and you get air in the system. So once that purges out, it runs. Well, here we are. Got the triangle plate off the side. Get some paper towels in there to soak up the fuel that came out of the pump, and. Uh, Get the Allen key inserted. Now I'll try to show you the camera what you're looking for in there, but don't have a mirror, so apologize. This doesn't work too good, but if you can see towards the end of the triangle, towards the back of the truck, you can see a little hole, and way down in that little hole is a tiny uh, 5 30 seconds Allen head that you got turned. Now you turn it clockwise for more fuel and counterclockwise for less. And, uh, that screw is quite tight, so I want to put a little wrench on it to get some more leverage on it to get it to turn, and then pull the plate on. That's it. And crank it. So after you're turning your fuel up, you want to run it up a good hill, put a good load on the motor, make sure your EGTs are still manageable. Which mine are. The camera probably won't focus because everything's quite shaky, but it's just about uh, 240 degrees Celsius. Just got back from taking the truck for a drive. EGTs are manageable. R drove it about uh, 40 miles an hour up a steep hill, uh, deep in the throttle. And the highest EGTs I reached were about uh, 400 degrees Celsius, so that's manageable. That's about uh, my safe limit is 600 degrees Celsius, which is that would be about uh, 1,200 degrees Fahrenheit. And you can still sustain that for no more than like 30 seconds. It'll be fine. More than that, then. You might start running into problems. I would personally not cruise at that speed or temperature, but the highest cruising temperature I would like would be like about 100 degrees below that or more, just to be comfortable. But so yeah, yeah. So after you turn your fuel up, you really want to put a good load on the motor. Make sure EGTs are manageable, so you don't burn it up. Mind you, then again, it's winter and I had no trailer on it. So if you put a trailer on hot summer day. Watch the gauge because you might burn your motor up if you don't watch it. If you turn it up more than three flats, or I mean, I've seen people running these natural aspirated motors. I mean, turn up seven flats. I mean, that's just a waste and just black smoke everywhere, which is I find it unnecessary. Just waste waste of fuel. I mean, turning the pump up three flats and this. I mean, you can get into the throttle like halfway and there's no smoke unless you really like hammer down on it. Then it just blows black smoke, but. 
not it's not like obnoxious all the time. Put it this way, it only smokes when you want it to smoke. Or unless you like lug the motor, you know. So yeah, I guess that's it for this video and thanks for watching.